Hey everybody, welcome to another Pokemon Black, Pokemon White walkthrough. Um, that tunnel I'm coming out of is either going to be from Black City or White Forest, and just depending on the game version that you have. Um, that for me is Black City, and I am going to Route 14. Why are you on Route 14? Well, it's funny you should ask. I'm actually on my way to the Abundant Shrine to catch myself a Landorus. Because, guess what? I already have a Tornadus. Actually, if you have Pokemon Black, you have Tornadus. If you have Pokemon White, you'll have Thunderous. Um, first thing you want to do is load up on some Max Repels because you got to walk through a lot of... There's a lot of waterfalls and bushes and things like that. Grass. Um, so you don't want to get stopped every every five seconds. Um, you're going to need the moves Waterfall and Surf to cruise around up here. Um, and actually, if you haven't um, unlocked the Black City or the White Forest yet, um, you can get to Route 14 through Undela Town. Undela Town? I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, it's just another way to Route 14. But anyway, you want to cruise. This is the path that you want to cruise through um, because... The Abundant Shrine is kind of up through these waterfalls into this area um, on the top here. Y you need also in your party, you have to have Tornadus and Thunderous. So if you have uh, Pokemon Black, like I have Pokemon Black, like I said, you'll have Tornadus. Um, once you catch him, you're going to need to borrow somebody's Pokemon White version to get um, Thunderous in your party. And then you make your way up through this little passage here into the Abundant Shrine area. Now, when you're up here, um, you there's some trainers that you're going to have to battle. Um, for the sake of this video, I am just trying to figure out a way around them so that I don't have to battle them. You guys don't want to see me battle, battle these kids here. So, um, basically... What you're going to do is you're going to kind of pull off to the left. Um, again, a lot of grass, things that you can walk through, but you're just going to kind of pull off to the left. Um, a couple of trainers, I think there's like Youngster Youngster Wes and um, Lass Makey, something like that. And then Youngster Lester, kind of off here. Um, you just kind of have to make your way past these guys. There's a couple of Pokeballs here. Actually, there's a flamethrower here on one of these. I should do a better tutorial. Let me show you this. But we're not here to catch those things or battle trainers or pick up Pokeballs and HP moves. We're here to catch Landorus. So, anyway, we just kind of keep making our way up to uh, the shrine. Okay, so we finally get to the shrine, and then there's these, what look to be, to me, kind of bad kids playing in front of it. And then basically, they're just going to tell you, hey, here's a little, here's a little something you need to know about Landorus. And, um, by the way, don't wreck the shrine. Something like that. It's pretty cool. These kids, I'm telling you, these kids look like trouble to me. But, um, it's all part of the backstory. It's all pretty cool. Um, you have to go through the little story, and then eventually they're gonna let you go up to the sh to the shrine. Um, but um, they're gonna they're gonna tell you, hey, Tornadus and Thunderous, um, you know, they were kind of bad basically, and Landorus, you know, he's the one who regulates. So, out of the three genies, this is the guy. This is the dude um, that um, is the regulator. Something like that. Anyway, you go up to the shrine, and um, Thunderous and Tornadus are going to start um, struggling inside of their Pokeballs. And here he comes. Here comes the dude, Landorus. And he's ready to, um, he's ready to fight. So you have to, at this point, this is what I'm thinking, is I am going to false swipe. Um, I am going to false swipe Landorus down to 1 HP. Because that's what I like to do when I'm catching Pokemon. So I switched to my Verizon, 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 and because um, he's got my false swipe. If you saw the other video I did with false swipe, my plan here is let's false swipe him down to one HP, and then I'm gonna throw a ton of uh, Pokeballs at him uh, or Ultra Balls. So 
you know, that's basically what I start doing. And it works. It's actually, like I said before, false swipe rules. It's a really good move. Um, but remember, too, I'm over-leveled. I'm like a level 100, and he's on level 70. He could still do some damage, um, obviously. He's a pretty tough Pokemon. And it's at this point that I realized, oh, I don't have any restores um, for my HP. So, um, you know, Landorus comes with moves like Sandstorm, which you see um, happening. You see um, he's got Earthquake, he's got Rock Slide. He's got enough to do some damage to me in a battle where I'm not trying to kill him, where I'm just trying to false swipe him down. And, um, you know, that's kind of what starts happening. But, um, you know, I just keep at it, and I'm just trying to get him down to 1 HP. I'm showing you most of this battle, just so that you can see kind of what you have to do going into it. Um, he's weak to water moves, I believe, um, if you, if you have a water Pokemon, but again, you have to be careful that you don't, you know, you don't kill him if you're over, if you're like a level 100. Um, you know, a lot of the things that he's throwing at me doesn't affect me at first, but eventually, it, you know, it kind of does kind of wears me down but anyway i got him down to one hp and i'm thinking all right it's time to throw it's time to throw some pokeballs at him um so i'm gonna throw an ultra ball and um see if i can catch him in there and let's see got one no i didn't even get a click out of that it just pops right out um so here comes the earthquake and this is gonna be hard it's gonna do some damage to me and I'm thinking again, ooh, wish I had a restore. So anyway, that battle did not work out well for me. I ended up dying. So Seismitoad popped up. Um, and again, you know, I'm just throwing Ultra Balls at this point. Um, and I get a click, one click, two clicks, three clicks. No. No. Now, I, I've thrown, for the sake of the video, I'm just kind of editing it down. You know, I've probably thrown like 20 Ultra Balls at this point. Um, you guys don't want to watch all that. But um, he basically earthquaked Verizon to death. Verizon? 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 I don't know. So but then Seismitoad, he's going to come up, throw some Pokeballs. And no, so he's taking a beating. And after that, um, I'm right. All right, let's throw out there. Let's throw Tornadoes. So Tornadoes comes out, and here I'm thinking, you know what, I'm done with the Ultra Balls, I'm going to try one more time, if this doesn't work, I'm thinking I'm going to try to switch Pokeballs, so I switch to, and it doesn't work, as you can see, and I'm like, God, he's just going to kill my whole party if I keep doing this, so um, I switch to a Premier Ball, and check it out, it, th this Premier Ball actually, um, if, if you have this when you go fight him, um, I highly recommend it because it seems like the Premier Ball does a pretty good job. Let's see. One, a click, two, three, and I got you, Landris. I got you. Um, so now, there you go. He's in your party. It took me three Pokemon and about 50 Ultra Balls, which I didn't show you on the video, um, and then one Premier Ball. So, I don't know. Try a Premier Ball. Um, they seem to work really good. And, um, hope it helped. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Comment, rate, subscribe. And then, um, if you get a chance, check out the latest video on the channel. And, uh, I will take you for a ride in the Mach 5 in the Go Speed Racer Go video. No, I'm just kidding. It's not really a Mach 5. It's like, uh, it's like a Chevy. But it's still pretty cool.